I thought it'd be easier to go over the lead capture pages as well as the ad track ad tracker setup um, through this instructional video so that way you can reference it uh, as needed there are instructions that we've uploaded to the my drive folder um, there's two sets of instructions there's buyer ad instructions as well as seller ad instructions all of them pretty much go through in detail what steps to do uh, to set up the buyer and seller lead capture pages for a specific reorder um, so you can reference those as well with the video we go to the ad tracker the main sheet uh, and if you notice at the bottom here there are separate tabs for buyers for sellers uh, you'll have your own tab as well and you'll have a tab for buyers and you'll have a tab for sellers we split up the buyers and sellers so that not everybody's getting the same exact leads or the same exact pages per week uh, and it's mixed up a little bit if we go to a buyer ad uh, you'll see the list of agents uh, some of them are in the same area, but we post different ads for this uh, Elaine Rick, Rick Meyer. We posted a uh, waterfront home ad on her uh, today, uh, tomorrow for Kimberly Crail, who's also in the same area. We're going to do a new construction ad uh, for her. So we're constantly mixing it up. Um, never post in the same ad uh, for the same type of person in the same county on the same day we don't want that kind of type of competition between realtors uh, if you find that there is too many uh, and you can't split it up uh, you can move them to a seller uh, page as well uh, seller pages are so very similar uh, for instance Carmen Gambone he's getting a posted ad on 314 um, these are the list of of ads that go out to all of them and they again same as the buyers if shock ads first guess my home values next 11.5 increase uh, is next uh, so forth and so on and we run through these uh, in consecutive order if you have two people again that are in the same area you can mix them up one can get a shocked ad uh, the next person can get a, a guess my home value ad so that you know it's different ads for for the same people um, or you can just mix up the days but again it's just important that they don't get the same uh, ad uh, competition so we'll just go to the one of the buyer ads and I'm just going to show you through the lead capture pages on how to set these up uh, we're going to say Kimberly Crail and we're going to go uh, to a four bedroom home so we go to the client creator login and to get to this we'll go right to the beginning uh, you can create a shortcut to this however you feel uh, you're comfortable with just go right to the login and the email address is rebyrand at verizon.net and the password is ran 7263 again that's in both of these sheets uh, the password information is both in the in the buyer and seller sheets so you'll have the login information as needed uh, you can click login it'll sign you into the lead capture pages now this it's important to know that when you log in you are in the administrative pages um, you can't make any changes in the administration uh, you can only review your realtors and log into their pages from here so when we log into the administrative panel the one thing you're just going to want to go directly to is the admin main menu in this upper right hand corner just click on that and it'll bring you to a list of, of options that you have there's a couple of things that you're going to be working with in the in this panel uh, the most common one is going to be your realtors page and this shows all of the active realtors that are in uh, our system uh, that you'll be gaining access to. To search for a realtor, since the list is quite extensive, we hit Control F to find, and we just type in the last name. So we're looking for Kimberly Crail. Here's her information. And to log into her account from the admin menu, you just click this far right lock button and that will log you into her account specifically 
once it's done logging in you'll be in her account and you can always test whose account you're in if you just go to account information and see whose name you're in the area you're going to want to be in the most is going to be the web page creator and this has all the lead capture pages that are available to her uh, that we're going to be promoting for her so we're going back to the ad tracker because I forget what who we're doing, but she is Nassau County and we're going to do a new construction ad for her. So we go back to the tab where her list is and we find the new construction ads. Uh, sometimes it's easier just to control F to find it. You can type in new construction, but we go here and we see here's our ad here. There's a couple of areas that we need to change on every ad. Uh, we click the edit button to the right here to go into the details of the uh, lead capture page so that we can make the modifications that we need to make. We're running a Nassau Camp new construction ad for her. Um, I believe it's going to be Floral Park. So we go into her ad and here is her name your website page. It's important that when we do these pages, we name the page wherever we're marketing to. So this week it's Floral Park. The next time you might run this ad, it might be for New Hyde Park or Stewart Manor, or wherever it may be uh, when it comes up. Uh, but you just go into here, click the change button, type in the new city that you want to replace with here, and you click update. It'll update the lead capture page and the changes will be reflected. Once that change is made, you scroll down here to the body content. Again, we want to make sure that the area here reflects the name of the area that we're going to be marketing to. Uh, to make any changes to this, if it wasn't Floral Park, you just click on the change button here. Uh, you highlight the Floral Park and type in whatever city it is um, and click update. Once that information is updated, uh, you just go through here and check to make sure everything else is on here. Um, all buyers get a drop down box. Um, you go, once it's on here, I'll, I'm going to delete this one so we can go in I can show you how to actually add it into the page you go in here you click add to add in a drop-down box it's a buyer site because we're looking for people who are listening in, in uh, new construction homes so they're gonna be buying homes uh, but you would do an ad for buyers if it's a buyer site and a sellers one if it's a seller site more often than not these drop-downs are, are primarily for buyers ads so you just click add for buyers uh, I'm looking to buy my home in 30, 60, 90 next year, two to three years. Um, if the realtor wanted to add their own custom one, like they requested, they want another option in here, we would just click the add. But we found that these default ones are more than suffice with the, what the realtors need. So we just click save here to save that information and to add that drop down box into uh, the lead capture page. Once that is done, you just scroll down here, make sure everything looks and uh, functions right. They should have a redirect uh, URL uh, for their page. If they don't have a website uh, from the setup, we usually redirect them to their Facebook business page. So uh, something should be in the redirect URL after they sign up. Again, whether it's their, their website or their Facebook business page to, uh, to, to redirect them after the people have signed up onto the lead capture page. So we just want to make sure that this is accurate. You want to, it's very important to just go over this, to take your time to uh, ensure accuracy and that everything matches. Um, we just click preview here. That was that big green button on the top right hand. It'll bring us to the lead capture page, new construction home, Floral Park, New York, uh, name, email address, looking to buy a home in, there's a drop down. Uh, you'll see that these two fields are required, so they have to enter in that information. So this page looks good. Uh, everything looks set with it. Uh, we would be good to go ahead and market this page. So to get the link, um, there's two ways. Obviously, you can 
copy and paste the link right down here uh, or as I usually like to do is just right click on the preview button and click the, click the copy link address um, just seems to work a little bit easier then I open up a Facebook poster uh, I will send you this link again it's in the um, it is in the instructions for the buyer and seller as the, the link to this uh, but you can uh, also bookmark this and I'll send you the login information as well <clears throat> excuse me here is the uh, lead capture page uh, default layouts for each of the lead capture pages we're working with a new construction home here so we would click this drop down and in the list of lead capture pages we would choose the one that we're don't going to do now there's all types in here um, you can see there's luxury homes new construction short sales luxury condos um, three bedroom home four bedroom homes the these seven critical questions that's a seller ad uh, home value change that's a seller ad guess your home value again seller head fixer upper home uh, that's a buyer ad so forth and so on um, but all these names coincide with the uh, ad tracker for what they're running. Now we try to make it as easy as possible, even for the uh, Guess My Home 11.5 increase. You, uh, you'll see that that is listed in here, or at least I hope it is. Uh, you know, I don't see the 11.5 increase on here, but I will get that added to make sure that it is, uh, it is in here. I'm not sure what happened to it. But again, they should all mark. They should all list out here. If you find that any of them are not on here or not accurate, uh, please let me know, and I will get it updated and added on there uh, as soon as possible. But we're doing a new construction home for her, so we just click OK, uh, and then once you select it in the drop down, you just click the check mark to load, and it'll load all the presets for this. There's two areas that we need to change the link for. Uh, that, that link that we copy and pasted, we got to paste it here, and we also got to paste it here. We also need to change this information here because obviously the default says Scottsdale, Arizona, but again, we're advertising in Floral Park, New York. So we can copy and paste that information in here. Uh, exclusive list of homes, homes in Scottsdale, no, we want Floral Park. As of, we want to do this month's this month's uh, list. So we do three 2016. Click here. Uh, we always want to upload um, an image to this if it doesn't have a default image in here already. New construction homes already have a default in there, so it's not necessary for you to upload a another image in there. But if this was blank you would basically just click the upload button here you would go into their folder and you would pick a an image that would be reflective of something that they would be advertising if it's a rancher lead capture page we'd be using this one luxury home you would use something similar to this uh, one acre homes uh, we try to put one in everything for their lead capture pages for their types of homes uh, in there so that everything's covered again if you find that you can't find an image that reflects the lead capture page and you check the stock images folder um, you know feel free to, to search online if you need to add one or find one uh, and put it in their folder for future use uh, just remember that anything that has a copyright on it we can't use so just try to find one that's uh, that's not copyrighted Again, the new construction has a default in there, so I'm not going to upload a picture. But just to upload one, you would basically uh, you would basically double click on it and hit open, and then it'll upload and, and add a new image to it. Okay. So again, we want to make sure we check this to make sure everything matches. So many times I see where the city up here doesn't match the city down here, uh, and it just looks unprofessional. So the other thing we need to do now is we need to find Kimberly Crowell's lead capture page. Uh, what I usually do here is just type in F and type in her last name. Uh, actually, her lead capture page is called something else. Uh, I'm going to find it right now. Uh, on the main sheet, 
uh, as you probably are well aware, it has their Facebook uh, page here, uh, and it's called Long Island Home Solutions. So I'll go back to that and I will type in Long Island Home Solutions. There she is right there. I'll put a check mark next to it and I go back to the top. If you are posting uh, and boosting for the same day or you want to post it immediately, you just click post and it'll post right to her Facebook business page. If you are scheduling it, um, you have to choose uh, America, New York uh, for the area or if there is a um, if they're on the west coast um, you can do two things if they're on the west coast you can choose america new york and the post time would be reflective of when we are uh, three hours away obviously so if we are posting for them at one o'clock uh, in the afternoon uh, it would be four o'clock american new york time so either way i usually do it with using american new york as my default and then just post according to the time difference uh, as i see fit uh, but again whatever you're comfortable with whatever process you get in is fine you can choose the date uh, if you're scheduling scheduling it out a day or two uh, and again the time you just choose the time based upon the the time zone that they're in i'm going to post this right now because i'm going to delete it pretty quickly um, but i'm just going to hit the post button It'll take a second. Okay, and it is posted. I'm going to bring up her Facebook page. Long Island Home Solutions. And we'll scroll and we'll see that it's listed here. Uh, custom list of new construction homes, Flower Park, New York, looks good. Uh, link looks good. Uh, we click on it, it'll take us to the lead capture page. Perfect. Um, so everything is posted well here. The next part is going to be boosting the post. Um, I'm going to bring you back to this ad tracker here and we're going to go to her. If you notice to the right, uh, we have the weekly budget, uh, 1250 overall budget per month is $50 and the account credit card is who is paying for it. Um, most of the time uh, it is going to be the realtor who pays for their budget. There are some times down here there's quite a few of them. Uh, BC that is unfortunately me and I pay $750 uh, for their ad per week. Uh, so they get $30 worth of ads that I pay for uh, per month as part of the program but most of the time is going to be the realtor uh, and the amount that that is there if they have a larger budget like this one underneath uh, for Jeff Powell he's got a hundred dollar a month budget and we run twenty five dollars per week those ads anything over twenty dollars is going to run for uh, two days it's normally two dollars or ten dollars per day so $10, anything from 10 to uh, $19 would be just one day. Uh, actually, there's nobody 19, but $10, $15, that would be one day. Uh, anything $20 would be uh, two days, same thing as 25. 30 would be three days, so forth and so on. Those people who have the larger budgets that you run for consecutive days, again, in preference, I would recommend probably running them uh, earlier in the week so that they can run for a couple of consecutive days. Anybody that has a, a budget like this you can't run on a Friday because I don't want to run them into the weekend and a Saturday is a waste of a day. So if they're running for two days we would at least have to have them for a Thursday morning run so they can run Thursday all day, Friday all day. Because uh, anything out of that is, is unproductive. So when you're planning out your budgets and your postings keep that in mind as well that you have to take in consideration the amount of days that you're going to be running for them uh, as well as the budget that they have. So um, Kimber, we're going back to Kimberly Crail. She's got a $50 budget so her budget is going to be $12.50 so it's going to be a one-dayer. So we go back to her page we click on boost post. This normally takes a little bit of time to load. I have no idea why Facebook is so slow with this but they are um, 
sometimes we'll have more tabs on we'll keep working while this is loading it really does take that long sometimes during during the high volume days um, and we'll just come back to it when it's done loading you'll see it looks like it's done loading here but I can't do anything yet uh, it's still loading everything in but we have nowhere to go so we're going to just keep going here once you usually set somebody up with an ad um, it will remember its previous settings um, so it, this automatically remembers Kimberly Crail uh, it automatically remembers that her budgets around this mark we will change that to uh, 1250 it always rounds up I don't know why but I want to make sure that we stay under budget or, or right on budget for these members so we'll do 1250 uh, again it's going to be for one day uh, and we make sure that we choose her account in this um, I actually should have did this first actually you should check the account first because if you don't do the account first uh, none of these settings are going to stay up here because right now it's on it's on my account hang on one second okay um, so yeah we got to choose uh, Kimberly Crail in the drop down menu here um, so I just hit the keys until I find her I don't see her in here um, I, I'm not sure why she's not in here but for uh, she may have a budget that's not paid yet okay in any event um, uh, what we do is we would change the drop down to be the realtor that we're working with uh, I'm just gonna pick Matt Kastner um, it's obviously it's not for him but just for these purposes and once you choose the default uh, the account that it's going to be on you're bringing up his audience so that's why I'd, I, I should have changed the account first or made sure that the account was first uh, because even if I changed all of this up here it wouldn't necessarily stay because I'm changing the account main account so it's going to pull up the audience for for that main account um, we normally uh, actually I'm going to say it, we always use a county audience um, even if we're advertising to a city we're using a county audience uh, this is because we want to make sure it gets out to everybody um, even if people are not in the area that they're in we want to make sure that it gets out to them um, some people might be looking to move to this area or looking to move out of this area whatever the case may be but uh, anytime we set up the audiences we always set it up and choose the county um, audiences um, these other ones Santa Ana Irvine California he probably set those up he might have been doing some ads on his own so we don't touch them but any of ours um, we usually put a, a county post in here so that we know which ones are ours uh, and which ones that we use so we would just choose that as the audience um, it's automatically set up for the areas if you hover over it you'll see the the list of cities as well as the radius that it, that it shows um, again in a couple minutes I'll show you how to do an audience um, 1250 uh, would be the uh, the budget ad because again that's what her monthly or weekly budget is uh, and we would just make sure it's one day and then we would choose the post uh, boost method once you hit boost it'll schedule it it approves it uh, all of our ads are already pre-approved so it happens pretty quickly uh, but it will boost uh, and start the ad whenever we have it scheduled I'm going to cancel that right now because I don't want to do it um, I'm also going to delete this ad because I'm going to get it off her page there's a couple other things I do want to show you. Um, I'm going to go to Evan or Evan Bowie. One of these is a scheduled ad. Actually, this is sorry. Here you go, this real estate page. If you do schedule a post, you'll see here it's got one scheduled post. You can go into it from here and you can click on the ad you can boost this so whenever it's scheduled to boost uh, you can go in and schedule the boost for him as well um, 
This one automatically, nope, did not come up with his audience. So we gotta go down, change him. Uh, go to Eve, or Evan Boeing, I hit E, it comes up automatically. And now once that comes up, you'll see his audience comes up, Pitkin County. Um, he's got a, he's a new member, and he's got a, I think a $100 budget. Yeah, $100 budget, so he is uh, $25, so that would be two days. Uh, so the duration would be, uh, again, this ad's not posting till tomorrow, uh, the 16th. So it would be two days. It would be 17, 18. So we would schedule it till the 18th. Uh, so it would run for two days. Um, and then once that's done, we would just hit boost post. So then as soon as it's done, you know, as soon as this runs, as soon as the schedules run on March 16th at 9 a.m., the boost will start as soon as it posts. So even if you pre-schedule uh, uh, your lead capture pages to go out, you can still schedule the boost post to, to go out as well. The other thing I want to show you is how to set up an audience. Um, you'll notice on the main sheets that we list out um, the cities that they work in, um, Bill Inman, South Lake, Colleyville, Keller. And under the Facebook ads, or under the Facebook menu, if you click this little triangle in the lower top right and go to manage ads, this will show up all of the ads that the, our Facebook account manages. And they need to add us to the billing account roles for this setting to take place. Once we get to the screen, you'll notice in the top right hand here, there's 113 of them. So this is only showing 50. So if the account's not on the first page, you have to go to the next page and the third page. Uh, so forth and so on to just find who you're looking for for uh, I'm looking for Bill Inman for just for purposes uh, so I'm just going to type in control F and I'll type in Bill uh, highlights down here I see him I'm going to click on him and I'm gonna bring up his ads manager to set up an audience we go up to the tools menu here and go into audiences He's already got an audience, we set him up, but here's how you would do it if you didn't. Go to create an audience and create a saved audience. And again, the audience is what drop is the, in the drop down. Um, so I'm just gonna type in Bill in, in audience. Uh, we put in his cities that he has listed here, South Lake, Colleyville, Keller. Uh, so we do South Lake, Texas. Uh, it should show up. If it's an accurate city, it will automatically show up in the drop down and then you select it. Always choose a mile radius of 10 miles. Uh, Keller, Texas. Again, it should show up. Change the radius to 10. Let's see if the other ones were uh, Colleyville and Grapevine. Colleyville, Texas. 10. Sometimes there'll be a circle that will be out to the right here uh, that doesn't touch another one. We want to make sure that all of these are overlapping so that there's no spaces. Um, and I just see Plano over there. I'm just going to show you. If we do Plano, Texas, and 25, you notice that's a little bit of a gap here. So what we would do is we would just take this one and just increase the mileage to maybe 15. Uh, just so that there's no it overlaps uh, and we're not missing any areas. The age is always from 22 to 65 plus, and then you create the audience. That's all you need to set up for these. Sometimes we'll make modifications to these audiences, but I will let you know if that needs to happen or if we need to make changes. If I don't do them, I will. Uh, I will tell you. Um, you can also do a drop pin if you have, if you want to do specific areas and you want to cover, uh, you don't know where it is or, you know, there's nothing there, there's no city, but you want to cover that area. You just do a drop pin, uh, whatever works, uh, whatever is easier for you. Um, again, everybody's got their differing uh, preferences. Then you hit the create audience uh, and it'll create that audience for you. Um, then when you go into his Facebook page, I'm going to open up another tab. I don't want to... You see his Facebook page was Bill Inman Sells. Uh, 
Oh, and I just want to, this is a side note, you may see all kinds of stuff, political stuff on my homepage. It has nothing to do with me. I have no one way or the other, uh, but it's obviously just goes on to my page. People are sharing, so I don't post on this thing uh, very rarely. It's only business, so uh, just so you know, I mean, that may or may not affect you. Um, but again, Bill, um, Bill Elman, if we wanted to boost this post, it's not a lead capture page post, but I just want to show you where the audience shows up. Um, obviously, it's self-explanatory, but I just want to go through it and make sure we're thorough. Okay, and I'll choose Bill Inman here. It should load up his audience, and you'll see that the new audience is right there. We can select it, and it automatically comes in, and we're good to go. Um, so that is basically how you do it. I'm going to delete this because uh, we already have an audience for him. Um, I think that's it. I will, uh, if I, any updates or I think I forgot something, I will, I'll try to send you uh, another video. But please let me know if you have any questions. Um, take a look around. Go ahead and go in the client creator. Take a look at those as well. Um, some of the reorders are, are active, so try not to make any changes, but I'll be sending you uh, a reorder that we need to get set up uh, as well, so you'll have an idea. I am going to make a, a video just for setting up lead capture pages from start, from scratch, on these new members, um, so that you can make sure that they have all the lead capture pages in their account, because uh, we will need to do that uh, on these new members as well. All right, I will upload this and send it to you. Thank you.